cannot steadily remain either in sense enjoyment or in renunciation. Change is going on perpetually, and we cannot be happy in either state because of our eternal constitutional position. Sense gratification does not endure for long, and it is therefore called chapala sukha, or flickering happiness. For an example, an ordinary family man who works very hard day and night and is successful in giving comforts to the members of his family, thereby relishes a kind of mellow but his whole advancement of material happiness immediately terminates along with his body as soon as his life is over. Death is therefore taken as the representative of God for the atheistic class of men. The devotee realizes the presence of God by devotional service, whereas the atheist realizes the presence of God in the shape of death. At death, everything is finished, and one has to begin a new chapter of life in a new situation perhaps higher or lower than the last one. Uh, this is very important point. The atheist class man, they say, can show me God that a statement from atheist class of sunglasses that he demanded his spiritual master whether he can show me God. So God cannot be seen by such demand. It is in the Shastra, it is said, Ata Sri Krishna Namadi Na Bhavet Graiham Priya. Sri Krishna Namadi. Sri Krishna is present by his name, by his form, by his pastime, by his paraphernalia, by his quality. Anything about Krishna is not different. Krishna and Krishna's name, it is the same. There is no difference. In the materialistic view, there is difference between the substance and the name, just like water. If you are Thirsty. Simply, if I chant water, 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 it will not quench your thirst. You require the substance water. So, similarly, a, a person's photograph or a statue is different from the person. Uh, if there is a photograph of a certain gentleman, and if you want to do business with the photograph, it is not possible. <coughs> you will have to seek for the actual person. But in case of Krishna, it is not like that. Krishna, the person, and Krishna's name, Hare Krishna, the same thing. Uh, it is not that we are chanting Krishna, Krishna, and is Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, it is different. No. Nāma-rupe Krishna-bhuta. 
the name of Krishna and Krishna the personal identity. Just like we are worshiping the form of Radha Govinda, Radha Madhav, Radha Navadar. So this form, it is to be said that this is statue. But a theist person who knows Krishna, he will see this form of Krishna not different from the original person Krishna. <coughs> Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he entered the Jagannath temple, he immediately fainted. Here is my law. Others who are going in the Jagannath temple, they are saying something made of whom? <laughs> Therefore, Shastra, for which? Arche Siladhi, Gurusu Narmati, Vaishnavi Jati Buddhi, Saiva Narva, Arche Siladhi, Achamurti, the form worship in the temple. If somebody thinks it is made of wood, it is made of stone, that is Naraki Buddhi. No devotee will say, only the non devotee atheist class of men will say that they are worshipping wood, they are worshipping stone. But devotee not that his worshipable law is present here personally. It is the question of revising or uh, reforming the perception. The whole Krishna consciousness process is uh, reforming or purifying the senses. Sarvapadi vinin mokta tatparatena nirmalam rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti rucha. Bhakti means to purify the senses. Primajana charita bhakti vidochane santa sadaiva ridaesu vidochane. Yam Shyama Sundaram Achinta Guna Sarupa Govindam Madhi Purusam Tavam Maja. Real devotee, Santa, saintly person, their eyes are purified by the ointment of love of God. Primanjana Churita Bhakti Bilochaneha. Shanta Sadaiva Rida Yeshu Vilopati. They are saying Krishna or His worshipable God. Krishna has many forms. Ramadi Murtisu, Krishna has His form as Lord. Ramchandra as Varaha, as Kurma, as Nishinga. Ananta Koti. In immarable form, He has God. All of them are Krishna. So a devotee, on account of his eyes being smeared with the ointment of love of God, he sees Krishna twenty-four hours within his heart. That is the vision of the devotee. In this class will say, where is God? Because he has no eyes to see the God. But a feast class or a devote, he sees God, the Krishna, twenty-four hours. He does not see anything else. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is said, 
আবার জঙ্গম দেখে না দেখে তার মূর্তি রিভোটিং মহাভাগ হাইলি অ্যাডভান্স রিভোটিং হি সি থ্রি বাট হি ডাজ নট সি দি থ্রি হি সি কৃষ্ণ হাউ হ্যাড ইউ গন ম্যাড নো অ্যাকচুয়ালি হি সি বাট হোয়াট ইজ দিস থ্রি দি থ্রি আউটওয়ার্ডলি is Krishna's energy. Your body, my body, the tree's body, the dog's body, the cat's body. What are these bodies? The bodies are made of the external material energy. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhumi rapa nalo vayu kam mana buddhi reva. ভিন্নামে প্রকৃতি অস্তরিয়াল এলিমেন্টস দে আর সিম্পলি কৃষ্ণ এক্সটার্নাল এনার্জি ট্রাসুরাট ইজ সিজ এনিথিং মেটিরিয়াল হি সিজ ইমিডিয়েটলি দি এনার্জি অফ কৃষ্ণ আর অ্যালং উইথ দি এনার্জি অফ কৃষ্ণ হি সিজ ইমিডিয়েটলি কৃষ্ণ It refers to the context. <coughs> Just like you are reading some portion of a book, as soon as there is some reference, immediately you see the person. Suppose you are phoning, talking on telephone with somebody. As soon as you hear the body, as soon as you hear his sound, immediately you see your friend. It is not very difficult to understand. Simply, one has to know the person or one has, must have the knowledge. So one who has got knowledge, perfect knowledge, of the constitution of this material body, he does not see the body, he sees Krishna. So anything, thawar jangva. Thawar means moving, and jangva, thawar uh, means not moving, and jangva means moving. There are two classes of living entities. Some of them are moving, and some of them are not moving. So a devotee either sees a living entity moving or a living entity not moving. He does not see the outward covering, but he sees within the spirit soul, part and parcel of Krishna, and without the body, the material body, he sees Krishna's energy. And because everything is in reference with Krishna, Therefore, he sees Krishna only, nothing else. So this is the statement that the Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Sthavar jangam dhyakhe na dhyakhe tarmur. He does not see the external form, but he sees the actual essence of the person, and that's how he sees Krishna. In the Bhagavad Gita it is transformed. Vidya Vinaya Sampanya Brahmani Kavi Hastin Sunicheta Sapatita Pandita Samadarsita. Pandita. Those who are actually Pandit, learned, knowledge, they see everyone on the equal level, Pandita Samadarsya, Vidyadhinaya Sampanya. He sees one very learned scholar, Brahmi, and sees a cow, sees one elephant, sees one dog, sees one 
dog eat that. The lowest of the human kind. But he is Samadarushana. He sees everyone of that as spirit soul. The body as Krishna's energy. Therefore he has no different vision for different persons. Vidyavinaya Sampanne Man Pandita Sapatas. This is called Brahma realization vision. Brahma realization go. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. Na Sotati, Na Kaankati. Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhavakti Rabate Parah. This is Brahma Bhuta Visa, uh, a Pandita. Actually, when one becomes a dharna, scholar, he becomes Brahma realized. That is the meaning of Brahman. Brahman means one who has realized the Brahma. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma Na Sochati Na Kaankati Sama Sarvesu Bhutesu Madhavakti Lavate Param. So before beginning of your devotional life, one must be Brahma realized. That is pure. That is actually the platform of devotional service means one must be above the brahminical qualification. A Vaishnava, a Vaishnava, madhavakti lavate parāva, one who attains the devotional service, parāva, parāvakti. There are three stages of devotional life. Arche Siladhi, Archayavya Maharai, Japujang Sadhya Hate, Natat Hakte Su, Charne Su, Savakta Prakita Smitaha. A person who is worshipping the deity in the temple with all regulatory principles, Archayang Eva Harai, Jab Pujang Sadhya with devotion is executing the service, but he does not know how to respect a devotee. Not a bhaktesh. He has concentrated his mind on the Archamurti, the deity, form of the law within the temple. That is very nice. But if he does not know how to worship with devotee, not a bhakti, jarnesh, and he does not know how to elevate other person, so bhakta prakita Such kind of devotee is to be considered as material, prakita. Gradually one has to become a practice. So there are different stages of devotion and service. So everything is explained in the uh, scriptures. Now our point was that how to see Krishna in everything. By this blunt material senses we cannot appreciate or we can see the Supreme Personality of God. It has to be purified. Sarvapādhi vinem moktam. One must be relieved from all designation. So long one thinks that I am Hindu, I am Christian, 
I am Mahamidar. I am this, I am Brahmi, I am Sudra, I am Sotriya, I am man, I am woman, I am black, I am white. These are all designations. One has to become free from all these designations. That is called Sarvopādhi, it is Mokta. If you see God, Krishna, from the Hindu angle of Visha, if you see God from Christian angle of Visha, then you cannot see God. That is not seeing God. You have to become free from all these designations. That's like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught us. Nāhaṁ vipra nācana rupati nā jūdhīdhvā. Chaitanya Mahāpūrū said, I am not a brāne, I am not a chhatriya, I am not a vaiṣya, I am not a śūdhra, I am not a sannyāsi, I am not a griyastha, I am not a brahmacāri. Then what you are? Because within these eight categories you are living. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, I don't belong to all these categories. Then what you are saying? Gopi Vattu Padakamalu Dasa Dasa Anu Dasa. I am the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of Krishna, the maintainer of the gopi. So unless you come to this day free from all designation, he cannot serve Krishna. Krishna accepts service from the devotee. Bhaktyāma avijānāti patraṁ puṣpaṁ phalaṁ tūyaṁ jūmi bhaktyā prajaśyati. Krishna is not bigger that he has come to your place and asking some food from you. No. But Krishna accepts your food provided you are a devotee. That is Krishna. You can offer Krishna patraṁ puṣpaṁ phalaṁ toyam. You do not require to become very rich man. The poorest of the poor can offer Krishna something. What is that? Patraṁ puṣpaṁ phalaṁ toyam. A little flower, a little fruit, a little leaf, a little water. Everyone can collect a little flower, a little water, and from any part of the world. Not that Krishna can be worshipped in India. <laughs> Krishna can be worshipped in Vrindavan. Wherever Krishna is worshipped, that is Vrindavan. Otherwise, if Krishna is not worship, that is not good enough. So how Krishna is worship? Krishna says, patram puspam phalam toyam yumi bhaktya prajachati. Anyone who offers me these things with bhakti, with devotion, with love, tadaham asnami denied. Not that a avhakta will offer something and Krishna will accept. No. Sarvapādhi dinin muktam dat palatena nirmanam rishi kena rishi kesa sevanam bhakti vichya. This is the definition of bhakti in the, in the Nārad Pancharāt. That when one is freed from the designation, Sarvapādhi vidhimmokta. Sir, I am a brāne. 
Therefore, I can offer you something. No, Krishna is not uh, exposed to anyone except to the devotee. Nāham pratāsa saravasya jūhu māyā samābhita. Krishna is covered by yoga māyā. He is not revealed to anyone except to the devotee. There are many other instructions in the śāstras. Adasya Krishna nāvādi nāvavid grāyam indriyai. That I explain. Krishna is not approachable by our these blunt senses, material senses, with designation. Uh, unless one is freed from all designations, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his staff, I am not a Brahmin, I am not a Sutra, I am not a Kshatri, I am not a Brahmachari, I am not a Griyatta, but I am the servant of the servant, the servant of Krishna, who is the maintainer of the gopi. Gopi vattu padakamalu dasu dasanu dasu. So Krishna is not visible to the atheist class of man. Krishna is only visible to the devotee. And the devotee sees Krishna and nothing but Krishna and twenty-four hours. It is not that Krishna is, a devotee sees Krishna while he is worshipping only, and other time he is not seeing. No. He is seeing twenty-four hours. But the atheists, they ask, can you show me Krishna, can you show me God? The reply is, have you got the eyes to see Krishna? It is not so easy, Krishna. Huh? In the Brahma Sangita, it is said, Panthastu koti satavatta sampragamya bayu rathapi manasu munipangavana sapasthida prapada sinhaya vichintatati govinnamadi purisam tamaham bhajami. Govinna. Panthastu kūrti satavakta sampradamya. Pantha means road. Uh, if you walk over the path of Krishna, suppose Krishna, there is Krishna loka, above this material universe, there is another spiritual sky, parabhoma. It is called Parabhoma. That is confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Parastasmatu bhava anya. Bhaktya bhaktya sanatana. There is another nature. And this is material nature. There is spiritual nature. And in that spiritual nature, there are innumerable spiritual planets. They are called Vaikuntha planets. And the highest Vaikuntha planet is called Krishna Loka or Goloka Vrindavan. This Vrindavan is replica of that original Vrindavan. When Krishna comes on this planet or within this universe, he comes. In this Vrindavan, this is called home of Vrindavan. Of course, there is no difference between home of Vrindavan and Parabhoma of Vrindavan. So, uh, if we want to see Krishna, then we must be free from designation. That is the problem. Uh, not only designation, 
but from all kinds of desire. Annavilasita sunnam jnana karmana nāpritam ānukullena krishnānu sinalam bhakti ruttamā. These are the definitions given by Śrīla Rūpa Goswāmī. We Gauriya Vaśnava, Madhya Gauriya Vaśnava, we are followers of Śrīla Rūpa Goswāmī, Chanāda, Śrāla Goswāmī. Śrīdhūp Sanātāna Bhattva Raguna, Śrījīv Gopāla Bhattva Dāsa Raguna. Echvāya Gosāya Jāra Tāramaita, Tāsa Vārpada Reno Mora Pancha Vrāsa. Unless one has followed strictly the path of the Saragoshāne, we cannot accept him as Guru. Because Nathandas Thakur says, Echaya Gosāya Jāra Tāramaita. One who has followed strictly the principles of Rupa Goswāne, Rupa Goswāne, of course, he lived very simply, mendicant, a small loin cloth, and simply <coughs> underneath a tree. But simply by imitating his loin cloth, one does not become Rupa Goswami. One has to follow the principles of Rupa Goswami. Then he is called Rupanuga. Unless you become Rupanuga, you cannot understand the glory of philosophy. Eichai Gosai Jar Tarumai Das. So, this is called Parampara system. Even Parampara Pratam Mimam Raja Sayogidu. If you follow the path of Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, not that simply by imitating his claw. You must follow in principle all the rules and regulations given by Annavilasitasanam Jnanatanmadana Abhidam Anukullena Krishnanu Silanam Bhakti Ruttama. This is the definition given by Sri Rupa Goswami in his Bhakti Rasamrata Sindhu. So one must be free from all material desires. You cannot earn your livelihood by showing the deity. This was not the business of Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami did not do any business by showing the deity. Therefore, you have to follow strictly the principles of Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami. Then you become Rupa Anuga Vaishnava. And Nartam Das Thakur says, one who is following the principles of the Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami, Tāramaita, I accept him as spiritual master. Tāsavāra padare no mora panchata. Eichaya Gosai jave brije koi la bāra. Radha Krishna Nitta Lila Kurila Prata. So, Radha Krishna Nitta Lila Kurila Prata, by writing so many books, hundreds of books, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, especially Jiva Goswami, Nana Shastra Vichara Nainta Nipuno, Sadharma Samasthapako, Loka Nam Hitakarina. They wrote books for the benefit of the whole world. Loka Nam Hitakarina. They did not write books only for the Hindus or for the persons who are uh, in India and Vindavan. Loka Nam Hitakarina. Nana has to be chara na ito nipu. No, they are very, very expert. 
Il fine ti può più tanto se no. Puoi davvero sfilo rupo questa me. Ha scritto qualcosa. Immediatamente ha given reference on this heart cross. He did not manufacture anything which is against this heart cross. That is Rupan, Rupan of the Vishnu. So, in order to see God, in order to serve God, we have to follow. The Nartundas Kapo, he has said, Rupa Raghu Nathva Pade Haive Akuti Pade Hama Bhujha Vasi Se Juga No Piri. Rupa Raghu Nathva Pade Haive Akuti. Unless one becomes very, very much eager to follow the path of Srila Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, he cannot understand what is the love appearance of Radha and Krishna. Without following the principles of Rupa Goswami, if we want to understand what is Radha and Krishna, then we shall understand uh, about ordinary boys and girls up there. That is not Radha Krishna. Therefore, in the Shastra it is said, Atar Sri Krishna Namadi Navadit Gayam Indira. Do not try to understand. Radha and Krishna with the blunt eyes and senses. Try to understand through the instruction of Srila Rupa Goswami, Srila Sanatana Goswami, Srila Sanatana Bhatta Raghuna, Siddhiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghuna. So, uh, this is the process, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, which are translated into English, Nectar of Devotion, is very important work. It is the science of devotional service. If you want to be engaged in devotional service, then you must read the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. And then we shall be able to see God. By following the rules and regulations and the direction laid down in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, you shall be gradually elevated to the platform of loving God. Srila Rupa Goswami therefore says, Adho Sadhya. Adho Sadhya. First of all, faith. That is the basic principle. And this word Sadhya has been described in the Chaitanya Chaitanya by Kaviraj Goswami. Sraddha Sabde Vishya Sudhira Nishya. Krishna Bhakti Paile Sarva Parma Frita Ha. This is called Sraddha. That if I surrender to Krishna, then all business of my life is done. This is called Sraddha. Not that sometimes I worship Lord Sri. Krishna, sometimes Lord Shiva, sometimes God is Kali, sometimes this, sometimes that. That is not Sraddha. Sraddha means Sudhira Nishcha, Vishya. What is that Vishya? Krishna Bhakti Kaila Sarva Parma Pita. If I worship only Krishna, then all other duties are performed automatically. The example is just like if you pour water on the root of the tree, the transmission of the water is automatically done to the other branches, leaves, and everything. 
If you supply food to the stomach, then the energy is distributed automatically to the eyes, ears, and other parts of the body. Similarly, if you simply offer Krishna surrender and worship Him, sarva dharmaṁ paritajya mahavetaṁ saranaṁ vajyaṁ, then you worship all other demigods. You don't have to exert yourself for worshiping other demigods. That is automatically done. Uh, therefore the whole concentration should be given to Krishna. That is the specific significance of Vrindavan. Uh, in Vrindavan, simply Krishna worshipable. Aradha Bhagavan, Vrajasatana, that is the uh, vision of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that Aradhya, worshipable deity, worshipable God, is Vrajasatana, the son of Nanda Maharaj, Krishna. Aradha Bhagavan, Vrajasatana, Tadhamam Vrindavana. Uh, as Krishna is worshipped, similarly his place, Vrindavan, is also worshipped. Ramya kāsī tu pāsadā vṛjavadhu varga There is no more better form of worship than it was conceived by the damsels of Vṛja. Srimad Bhāgavatam mamalam purānam and the books, authoritative literature to understand Krishna and His service is Śrīmadha Bhāgavata. Śrī <coughs> Caitanya Mahāprabhu Matamidam. This is the mission of Lord Caitanya Mahāprabhu and Krishna consciousness movement is exactly following the principles of Śrī Caitanya Mahāprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, <coughs> Jare Dakho Tare Kaho Krishna Upadesh. So, the atheist class, they cannot see Krishna. They, can, they will see Krishna <coughs> uh, at a certain time. What is that? That is ex- described in the Bhagavad Gita. Mittu sarva harascaham. When there will be death, when death will take away all our possessions, at that time we can see Krishna. Just like Hiranakasivu. Hiranakasivu was atheist. He could not see God. He was godless. But at the last, he saw God in the form of Mishinga Dev. That is also being father of Prahlad Maharaj. Otherwise it was not possible. So God is everywhere. Krishna is everywhere. Annantarastam paramanu chayantarastam ekappasaurachayatam jagadannakoti Yat-śakti-rasti jagadanna-caya-jadantam That's all. Otherwise you can see God everywhere. He is within the atom. What to speak of other? Simply you have to smear your eyes with the ornament of love of God, Krishna. And if you want to come to that stage, then you have to follow the instruction given by Srila Rupa Goswami in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Someone makes a arrangement during this live time for others to render service to Krishna, but if the whole purpose of his arrangement is to simply um, maintain his family, and if he's still attached to sense gratification, at the time of death, even though he's ha- he has attraction for sense gratification, Will he attain a higher birth in the family of Vaishnavas in his next life, anything like this? No. 
those who are engaged in devotional service, if they cannot finish their business in this life, they are given chance next life to get birth in a Vaishnava family. Not all. Yoga Bhastha Sanjaya, Suchinam Simhatam ki hi. Those who could not finish yoga bhrashta, bhakti yoga, if he falls down while executing, he has no loss. Because even if he falls down, his life, next life is guaranteed in a nice family. Suchinam Simhatamge, either in rich family or in a devotee's family. So both ways he gets the chance of having a human form of life. And if he is born in a Vaishnava family, naturally he becomes Vaishnava. And if he takes his birth in a rich family, he has no problem for his bread. He can exclusively engage himself in devotional service, provided he gets the assistance of a bona fide spiritual master. So your answer is a question, a question is answer. Yes. Like if someone has a temple and he simply maintains the deity yes. for his uh, personal self-gratification. That, that's all right. He is Kanishtha Dikari, so gradually he will be elevated to the Madhava Dikari and then Uttama Dikari. So in Krishna's service, either he does this way or that way, there is no law. It is only gain. Uh, that is uh, the statement of Nārada. Tattva sadannam charanam bhujyam hari bhajanna bhaktvatu patetatu yadi kumārattva akut amusrati. Even one falls down, there is no loss, because he get a chance next life to begin from the point where he failed. So there is no loss. Whereas others, because they did not know what is Krishna, simply work very nicely. They are fruitless life. There is no gain. Even the one executes his occupation and duties very nicely. Because he is not devotee, what is the gain of his life? He does not gain anything. These are the persons in this one part. Where? Uh, what is the highest principle of the Goswamis uh, by following which one is assured of attaining love of Sri Krishna? Goswami is controller of the sense, controller of the mind, controller of the tongue, con controller of the genital, controller of anger. So many things he has to control, then he becomes Goswami. Bhatu Vegam, Kroda Vegam, Udara Vegam, Upastha Vegam, Manaso Vegam, Hitan, Vegan, Vishayeta, Dhira, Pridhivinsa Sushya. After becoming Goswami, he can make disciples all over the world. Hare Krishna. Today is the beginning of Urja Brahma. What is it? How should we describe it? How should we describe it? What do you think? There was no urja, urja, urja brata. Ah. He wants to dis, you to describe what it is. And how should we describe it? Urja brata, you chant Hare Krishna 24 hours per month. <laughs> That's all. Chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Yeah. Don't sleep, don't eat. This is Urja. Can you execute? <laughs> yes. I may have missed the point about um, the, the atheist. He sees God at the time of death. Does he see, see the form of Krishna at the time of death? No. 
as its form of death. Krishna has many forms. So death is also Krishna's form. Jijathavaṁ-prabhadyante tāṁsa-tayo-vajāmaha One who has become inimical to Krishna, Krishna appears as enemy, just like he appears as Narasimha Deva to Hiranakasu. So Hiranakasu was very great personality. He was father of Pallad Maharaj, the ordinary man. Uh, they uh, <coughs> fear the death. That fearful, their meeting with the fearfulness is their meeting with Krishna. All right, chant Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs>